Namaskar everyone, I'm Harpreet Kaur and I welcome you all to this session. You are watching us on our e Vidya channel number 4 and also on our YouTube channel NCERT official. When I say channel number 4, that means the special, you know, the special session is for the students of class 4. And today the subject that we have taken up is English. Chapter number is 8 and the topic is you know, oh, so wonderful. Alice in Wonderland. Who doesn't know about it? Who hasn't read the story? Who hasn't watched the series? It is such a fascinating, fabulous story. And today we are uh, going to learn more about it, more about Alice's uh, Wonderland and her imagination. And uh, to let us know about the same in a very fun and exciting manner, we have our expert in the studio. Today we have been joined by Ms. Geeta Mudgal. She is primary teacher from KV New Meheroli Road, NCERT, New Delhi. Welcome to the session, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, viewers, you must be having a lot of questions. Uh, so what you can do, you can always connect with us. You can call us and for the same, our phone number is double eight double zero double four zero double five nine. If you want to send us an email, you can write to us at dth.class4 at ciet.nic.in. Also, you can connect with us instantly through our YouTube channel NCERT Official where you are watching us live at the moment. So, uh, let's uh, begin this uh, very exciting session and know more about Alice and her wonderland. So, ma'am, you know, I still remember watching the series as a kid on yes. television. Yes, when we were a kid, that Alice in Wonderland uh, cartoon yes. had always come into the story yes. and we stuck to the uh, television. Absolutely. As a kid, I used to, you know, love watching it and uh, I know it was a dreamland in Wonderland. We yes. all have our imaginations regarding uh, our Wonderlands, our fantasy world. But I want to know about your take uh, hmm. on this Wonderland. What okay. was it like? Okay, if uh, I try to tell you about the wonderland, just close your eyes mm -hmm. and imagine what you want to be in your wonderland. Just oh. as when I was child, I thought of that there should be ice cream mountain, Lovely. rivers of chocolates, candid should be on the uh, trees so that we can pick wow. one. Wow! <laughs> so this is my one uh, yes. wonderland. Great. So here, this is the story Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the reading right. and the explanation. Yes. So one day Alice was lying under a tree listening to her sister reading a story. Suddenly she saw a white rabbit. So Alice is here. I had made this Alice. Okay. So viewers, just watch on your screen. Ma'am has, uh, you know, made this beautiful Alice and uh, she wants to show this thing to us all. And I think the camera can beautifully uh, capture it. We are talking about Alice. Yes, ma'am. Please show us so, Alice. Lovely. She is Alice and she is listening the story with okay. her sister. Okay. So, suddenly she saw, she saw a rabbit, uh -huh. a white rabbit. Oops. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. And when she was listening the story, the rabbit was moving fast. Scamper mm. by means moving fast. Mm -hmm. And he had pink eyes. Mm -hmm. pink eyes and was wearing a blue coat he took a big watch in mm -hmm. his hand mm -hmm. then big watch from uh, his waistcoat pocket and as he hurried away mm -hmm. he was running so fast and saying oh dear I will be too late I will be too late I have to go so Alice saw rabbit she thought mm -hmm. there was something very different about this rabbit yeah. children can you guess what is different first thing Mm, I think the waistcoat. Yes, ma'am, waistcoat. Because uh, the living thing, human being wears the waistcoat. Yes. And rabbit is the animal. Yes, and the big clock that big he's clock carrying also. in his hands. We used to have wristwatch in our hand or yes. clock on your walls. True. So, it means he has the knowledge of time also. Yeah. Mm. Then, again, one thing is, he is saying something. He is running away. He is, uh, you know, he's in, in a, a hurry. hurry. In yes. a hurry and saying and oh dear, I will be too late. It means talking uh, rabbit. Talking rabbit. Yes, yes. That's why Alice was so surprised to see the rabbit. Okay. And she started following him. Yes. It could talk. It wore a red waistcoat. It carried a watch. Alice wondered. A talking rabbit. Mm. A rabbit who wears the waistcoat. 
Alice was burning with curiosity. Means he want to eager to know about the that rabbit, mm -hmm. and she followed the white rabbit. <coughs> then the rabbit started running, running. Alice followed the rabbit. The rabbit suddenly oh. popped down the large rabbit hole. Mm. The house of the rabbit is rabbit hole, or you can say the burrow. Burrow. Alice jumped into the rabbit hole too because mm. she is following. Then. The rabbit went down, 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 down into the rabbit hole. Hmm. Alice saw everything, so she followed. And where I am? How many miles down I have fallen? I must be getting somewhere near the center of the earth. <laughs> center of the the imagination of the child is yes. is something means she is also thinking the same that she is following the rabbit and going deep into the uh, earth center and she must be going to the other side of the earth yes so she wondered will i slip through the earth to the other side she was just thinking but what <coughs> happened thumb alice landed to the pile of dry leaves she looked around everywhere <coughs> quickly and suddenly she saw the white rabbit again and it disappeared saying again the rabbit disappeared not be seen mm. so how late it is getting and she was he the rabbit is saying again and again i am getting late i am getting late so alice stood up and saw a small door hmm. about 15 inches oh, high very small very small and the height of a child it must be 3 feet and the gate is 15 inches so she saw a glass table there hmm. with a golden key this is the golden key on yeah. the table she tried the little golden key she picked the golden key hmm. key and lock in the lock and for her delight it is fitted oh alice opened the door okay mm -hmm. and wanted to so, uh, saw the what is behind this door yes but what is the difficulty because alice is too large in size mm. and the door is so small but sh what she has seen how the loveliest garden she had ever seen mm. how she longed to among those beautiful beds of bright flowers and mm. those cool fountain but she could not even get her head through the doorway because <coughs> her size was she is tall in size right in comparison to the door mm. oh how i wish i could become smaller a uh, wish of the alice is that she could be smaller so that she can went into the yes, garden she can pass through the door and go into this beautiful, beautiful garden. garden she exclaimed loudly hmm. so this is the story beautiful story <laughs> uh, this is only the extract from the hmm. alice in wonderland just the curiosity of a child yes. that is given here so let's see the new words or the difficult words mm -hmm. we have done the word scamper the rabbit is scampered by her yes. moving quickly yes hurried rushed running popped to jump down rabbit was popped down and down into the rabbit yes. hole disappear not to be seen hmm. when they when alice thumped into the hole then the rabbit was disappeared hmm. whiskers the hair that is grown on the face of the animals just like cat rabbits lion etc yes so these are the new words we have now some questions okay. from the same story so my question first question is this is from your textbook children what did alice see while listening to the story hmm. can you answer ma'am yes a talking rabbit let's see yes <laughs> alice saw a white rabbit scamper <coughs> by her next yes. question what was different about the rabbit Oh it was wearing a waistcoat carrying a big watch and was talking yes rabbit had pink eyes was wearing a blue coat and it could speak yeah next question where did the rabbit go well he rushed to his rabbit hole or to his burrow yes he popped down into the big rabbit hole how did alice reach wonderland through that burrow to that burrow yes absolutely right reach wonderland by following the white rabbit into the rabbit hole mm. what strange thing did alice see well a small door a golden key and of course a beautiful garden yes a beautiful garden with beds of bright flowers and cool fountains yes 
So it means children you have listened the story very carefully and maybe you can answer this question. <laughs> if you have any query you can write here. Yes. Okay. So we have got the lesson from this story also ma'am. Mm -hmm. The curiosity. Small children have curiosity mm. and why curiosity is important? Because if you are not curious, you won't be able to learn about new things or explore different things in life. So being curious is important to get yourself updated. Yes, curiosity always brings new inventions, yes. new learnings, new things. Yes. Okay children, so you should be curious. Okay, when you are curious, you can learn many things, many new things. So let's start with the other exercises. <coughs> yes. So here the multiple choice questions, same from the same story, you have to tick the correct answer. The rabbit had hmm. white eyes, big eyes, pink eyes. Pink eyes. Yes. <laughs> Who was burning with curiosity? Alice, the rabbit, other children? Alice. Yes, because she wanted to know about the talking rabbit. Yes. Why was he in a hurry? Mm. Who fell down and down and down? Alice, a mouse, the rabbit. I think both Alice and the rabbit, I guess. Yes, first of all, the rabbit was yes. fell, falling down and down and down. Yeah. Who said this? Oh, my ears and whiskers, how late it's getting. The rabbit, Alice or Alice's sister? The rabbit. Yes, because the rabbit was in a hurry. Yes. The garden Alice saw was big, lovely or small? It was big and lovely. <laughs> okay, lovely. Lovely. Because uh, she could not be able to went into the garden, mm. so size cannot be given in yes. the story. So, yes. the garden is lovely. <coughs> Let's talk. There are some question you have to discuss about mm. it. First question is describe some of the sound you hear at night. Mm. In, because in the morning time we have many sounds. Yes. But at night what happen we will go into the bed and we take sleep. Mm. So tell me what sounds you can hear at night. Well the first sound that comes to your mind is of cricket. Cricket yes. Yeah. And what else? Hmm. What else? Um, some moths maybe, some insects some moths, maybe. Yes, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes, yes. <laughs> if you are not using the coil or anything True. else. And the, in some areas, the horn, yeah. the train sound, yes. the whistling of train. These Absolutely. are the sound that you can hear at night. Second question. Imagine you are Alice and your partner is rabbit. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Because in till now there are only three characters sister is uh, hmm. just uh, uh, still hmm. but Alice and, uh, the, and the rabbit are they are moving and they are doing something so if you are Alice and your partner is rabbit what would you do well I will certainly go to my wonderland something that I have imagined something which is there in my fantasy hmm. like uh, as you mentioned mountain of ice cream <laughs> yes candies from the yes. trees I'll pick them up and I'll eat them and relish them oh. <laughs> And your partner, will you talk to rabbit? Yes, your partner? of course, of course. We will admire the beauty of our surroundings. We will talk and we will share each other's thoughts. Mm. If I will be there, mm -hmm. then I would ask, how can you speak like me? Oh, great. Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> and, uh, how can you wear like me, yeah. like human beings? <clears throat> yeah. And from where you have taken these clothes? These are the questions that children can ah. ask. Hmm? Next question, what do you think Alice saw in the garden? In the garden children, what are the things that you can see? Hmm. Flowers, yes. plants, shrubs, herbs, berries, fruits, butterflies, butterflies, yes, yes. birds, other yes. things. How could Alice have got into the garden? I think because the size of the door is, was small, she could have crawled and yes. uh, passed through the, through the door. And it is a wonderland and she was wish, wishing for that maybe I will be smaller. Yeah. Maybe she gets something. This is a wonderland. She yeah. gets some juice like this. Yes. So that they can. In the actual story when we have seen in the cartoon, mm -hmm. she uh, drink that uh, juice and yeah. she becomes smaller. She becomes smaller. Anything can happen in a ah, wonderland. <laughs> yes. So children, now next exercise is. Yes. You have done the um, difficult words. Hmm. 
and in the exercise find one word for these phrases okay to walk fast okay h the word is starting with h can you guess hurriedly hurry hurry okay next is happy delighted yes good hmm. at once quickly very good move fast scamper i guess yes <laughs> to think wish wonder. wonder okay to be seen nowhere disappear disappear and the last one to be inquisitive of course curious. to be curious so this is the exercise mm -hmm. and this is the grammar part mm -hmm. alice follows the strange rabbit because she want to know a number of thing mm -hmm. and here in some words are given in a b c sentences words are given they, but they are not arranged hmm. so you have to arrange rearrange the words to make the question okay okay so we have this exercise by doing here sentence formation mm -hmm. okay these are the words that is given in the exercise talk <coughs> rabbit mm -hmm. a how and can okay okay we have to arrange this but let's check i have given here <coughs> subject then verb then object hmm. okay ma'am so what is subject a subject is rabbit uh subject is rabbit subject actually is in grammar the person who do the work okay verb is the action word the yeah. action so if you are not very much uh, habitual about it then let's start with the verb verb it's talk okay it's talk yes then subject rabbit rabbit or can is also there yes can and talk hmm rabbit can talk yes or a article is also there yes a rabbit is a subject can talk verb hmm. no object is there yes this is a simple sentence hmm. okay but what you have to do here you have to make question okay okay how can we make the question using these um words just remove the helping verb hmm and put helping verb in front of subject okay it will become the question hmm so now verb hmm then subject hmm and this main verb here yes helping verb should be there hmm so it will become now question can a rabbit talk can a rab rabbit talk but one word is left how hmm how can a uh, this is wh family word yes if you use only can a rabbit talk it will become yes no type yes and how can it in descriptive question then you need explanation yes so how can a rabbit talk <coughs> we have other words also okay there we are here we are going children first of all make simple sentence then make the question okay okay it will be easier for you he is where hmm. okay these are the jumbled words yes you have to rearrange these words so put for making simple sentence use he mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. leave this where for some time and then going he right. is going and one more thing when you are making simple sentence mm -hmm. use full stop okay beta full stop and capital h okay he is going mm -hmm. but here you have to make the question mm -hmm. is he going <coughs> right is he going and where question word wh family question where is he going when he is in between it will be in small letter okay? okay again in small letter but if it is in simple sentence it will be in capital okay okay next ma'am can you try yeah i would love to okay ma'am first word is read hmm. then he hmm. 
Hmm. Then can, time, and then the. Hmm. First of all, make simple sentence. He can read the time. Yes, he can read hmm. the time. Yes. And how how will you make the question? Can he read? The yes, time? helping verb in front of subject. Right. So this is the sentence formation using the subject, verb, and object. One sentence is left for you. Hmm. You will make yourself. Yes, that's the homework. Hmm. <laughs> so children. One question is given you. Imagine you are going to a journey hmm. to the center of the earth. Ooh. What do you think you will see? Because <coughs> Alice was going into deep into the earth and she was thinking that she must be cross the center and will go to the other side, other of, side the of the earth. This right. is our earth and if we cut a part of it, what will you see? The center. The center and the center of the earth. And see, it, it all depends on child's imagination, you know, how hmm. the child is learning to imagine or how he or she wants to imagine about earth, sky and the universe, isn't it so? Yes. So, what you see? The crust. Yeah. And the outer layer, then yes. core. If we look at the picture, hmm. then definitely we look at these three components. Yes, ma'am. So, let us start with other work. Mm -hmm. Your homework is just draw the dream garden. Okay. Oh, what a beautiful and exciting homework I must say. Hmm. Draw your dream garden. Mm -hmm. So, I am drawing here. Okay. Try to do it at your home. Then yes. color this garden. Okay. So, children because we have left, uh, we are left with very little time. So, please watch very carefully. Ma'am is drawing a very beautiful garden. These are the bushes. Mm -hmm. Okay. One tree is also there. Okay. Flowers. Mm. If it is a garden, there will be flowers and a pavement where we can walk. Yeah. Flowers. Leaves of the flowers. There are many types of flower. Yes. Leaves, grass. So, this is the garden, my dream garden. So, children, your work is to draw it and color it. And there we have the sun also. Yeah. In the evening time, we went to the garden and enjoying. Okay. So, this is the garden you are having. Now, one craft work also there. Mm -hmm. I have this square piece. In the garden, we have uh, flowers. Yes. So, let us make flowers with it. Sure. Square piece is there. Make a triangle of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then find the center of this. Make one more smaller triangle. Mm. We got the center. Then fold it like this. Mm -hmm. The other side. So, there are now three moves are here. Okay. Hmm. Let's make the leaves. And now I am going to cut this. Okay, children? Yes. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful flower. And cut make a cut here. It becomes 3D flower and paste it here. So, it will become a beautiful flower. Lovely. And so, you know, it is so easy to make this flower and see how beautiful it looks. The purple flower which ma'am has created out of paper. Looks so real ma'am. Thank you yes, so much. So, your work is make this paper flower and make a 3D garden. You can also make your own 3D garden and narrate. you can narrate the story using this garden. Absolutely. And since we are running short of time, we have to wrap up this session here, but doesn't feel like ending it because it was such a fun filled session. And I would like to thank ma'am. Ma'am, thank you so much thank for coming you, here and uh, for sharing this beautiful extract from the story of Alice and making this garden and letting us know how exciting, you know, studies can be for kids. Thank you so much.
So viewers, this was our session. We are wrapping it up here, but in a while you can uh, join us for our online training session. And before we leave, let me tell you an important update about NCERT textbooks that are available across the country. You can purchase them offline and online and you can download the PDF version of these books from Diksha app, e Shala, and of course NCERT website. So, till we meet next with yet another fun-filled session, it's time for me to take leave of you. Namaskar.